Hello and welcome back to Expeditions, a Mudrunner game. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how the new mod browser works. And I'm also gonna show y'all one of the first map mod regions for Expeditions. And we're also gonna be messing around with a couple of modded vehicles. Well, maybe one, maybe two. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes on that. Now the mod browser is laid out just about exactly the same as SnowRunner's mod browser, although some things look a little different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right into the mod browser. And as you can see, there are a few vehicles that are already available here. However, be careful as to how, um, as to how you mess with some of these because not all mods are, let's just say not all mods are quite as legitimate as all of the other mods. Uh, that's kind of just where I'm going to leave that. But as you can see, Glitchworks already has a new truck in the mod browser. Now, this won't be new to people that have played with it before in SnowRunner. However, there are going to be some other trucks that y'all may recognize as carryovers. Um, like, for example, the Rockbiter 1700 and also the L400. Although, honestly, a lot of people probably know the L400 as a limes truck and not as a off-road van. And although this L400 as opposed to Lime's L400 are both drastically different types of vehicles, they're honestly both really, really interesting and really fun to drive and use both in their own right. Now, again, you have a lot of different options here as to how you can use this mod browser. If you hit sort of the start button, at least the start button on this controller, um, you can just kind of type whatever you want into the search bar and then search whatever mods you want. Now, obviously that's not gonna matter quite as much until this becomes a little bit more populated. However, depending on when you're watching this video, um, there honestly might be a lot more mods on the browser if you're watching this video later on down the road. So let's go ahead and jump into the islands now, which is a brand new modded region to actually see what it looks like. So once we're in the headquarters, we're gonna go ahead and scroll on over to mods region. So once we get to the mod regions, then we're gonna go ahead and select modifications list, and then we're gonna select the free roam option for the islands. Now, obviously there are gonna be different sections that you can select here depending on whether or not you want to do free roam or an actual expedition so we're going to go ahead and do a standard free roam and then for our loadout we're actually going to use the lodestar 1700 rock biter i honestly kind of expect this to sort of play like a snow runner map oh that's sick i love this Oh, I love how you actually load in as if you were dropping in off of a boat. That's so cool. I wonder if it'll let you... Oh, it does. I was so curious if it was actually going to be able to, um, like, back up onto the boat as if you were, like, actually just about to drive in. Oh, I love that so much. Oh, look at this! Oh, it actually starts you out uh, with a proper trail. This is so snow runner. definitely say though like right off the bat um you notice a lot of the new map assets for sure it's also super pretty i am so excited for more mod creators to start actually getting their hands on um expeditions and starting to bring more of their mods over uh from snow runner Look at that draw distance. Oh, that is so sick. 
Also, this truck is a hell of a lot faster uh, than I ever anticipated it would be. I was actually expecting a whole hell of a lot less uh, out of a truck like this. Oh, look at this! Uh, sure. I don't know if that's the way the trail goes, uh, but I am never one to turn down an opportunity. I also just have to be careful and make sure that I don't wind up in trouble. Should be right about here. Yeah, it's like right here. Oh, that's so strange. Huh. Oh, I wonder if it won't let us do it yet. Interesting. Hmm. So the whole purpose of that one is actually going to be to deliver a bunch of cameras um, to different sites around the map. Oh, we've got a recovery out here. Oh, what about this? Oh, that's sick. It's like a proper hill climb. Before I do that, though, I need to figure out how to actually get over there, <laughs> which that's going to be fun. Oh, you've got it. Oh, you're almost there. There we go. Oh, that view. That view is so crazy. That view is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I love it, though. Although I do legitimately wonder uh, where we're going to end up if we just kind of continue on down the beach. Um... To be honest, I probably should have stayed on the main trail. I feel like staying on the main trail was probably the more uh, well-advised plan. Although, when have we ever been known to do that? That's not even like the terrain out here is all that bad, though. around the tree. Oh, come on. Oh, never mind. That wasn't anywhere near as steep as I thought it would be. Oh. I was honestly wondering where the recovery was. Um, and apparently it's like all the way down the beach. Let's get the... Oh? Oh! So never mind. That's not even a recovery. That's a Ford. Apparently I need to learn... Uh, I need to learn slash relearn uh, all of the symbols in this game. Oh, we missed it. Oh, if you look. Yeah, if you look, you can actually tell how much more shallow it is here. Oh, 
we should be able to do this. Uh, honestly, we may take a little bit of damage, but uh, not anywhere close to like an amount that would be an issue. God, this map is so gorgeous. In all honesty, though, I'm just so glad that the modders have already started to develop things for this game. And also, oh, I need to attempt that hill climb. That hill climb looks wild. That looks so incredibly wild. However, with all of that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this quick look at mods in Expeditions. And if you have any other questions on how to use the mod browser or how the mods are supposed are supposed to interface with your game, uh, leave any of your questions in the comments down below. But that is going to do it for this one, y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one.